Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Longchamp Racecourse here on Sunday. It is the 2nd of October, 2022. Can look at the stakes races on the program from Longchamp, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and I mean it around the world. It's Prix de l'Arc de Trump Day from Longchamp. We're going to look at all the group races, races 1, 2, featured 4th race, 5, 6, 7. Six races to look at. Let's get to the opener. The first race, which is the Group 1 Prejeune Luc Lagardiere Stakes. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse of $454,000. Race for two-year-olds here. We have eight horses going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the Longchamp Turf Course, rated very soft. My top selection, I'm going to take the five horse, the Antarctic. Let's go 5-1 in your forecast exacta. 5-1 forecast exacta. Top selection to 5 horse the Antarctic. Kumar owns this one. Aino Brian trains. Ryan Moore gets them out. Two-year-old called by Dark Angel. His most recent outing came two weeks ago at Newmarket. Six furlongs in the group one middle park stakes. And he finished second by two lengths there. The winner Blackbeard really put on a show and quickened up nicely. This horse just kind of stalked and really couldn't get there. I do think with the extra furlong here today, he's going to have to overcome a wide post drop. But I think he has the forwardly pace to win here and get away with it. Two back run at Deauville, six furlongs in the group one pre uh, Morny, and the horse finished third by two lengths. Again, Blackbeard freaked that day, but this horse was closing up well behind him. Not the world's worst race for him there. And then at Deauville, second of August, six furlongs in the group through Prita Kaburg. He won by a length that day. He stayed the trip on the front end. He quickened up nicely. Very good race. He's making his fourth start of the season in France, which is quite good for an O'Brien horse. Um, his first start uh, in France came at Chantilly on the uh, 17th of July, six furlongs in the group two pre Robert. Pepin, where he finished second by two, uh, three lengths there, and it just took him a little bit of time to get going. He got beat by um, Blackbeard, who is, um, is basically his rival in his short career, but he's definitely been on the improve. I like him going to the seven for a long trip today. At two to one, I know he's a short price, but we're going to use him. To recap my selection for the first from Patty Longchamp, it's the Group 1 Prejeune Luc Lagardier. Let's take the 5 horse, the Antarctic. 5 1 in your forecast exacta. The second race, it's the Pr Group 1 Pre Marcel Boussac. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse $454,000. Race for two year old fillies here. We have a field of 12 horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. I'm going to take here the 8 horse never ending story. Let's go 8 2 in your forecast exacta. 8 2 forecast exacta. Top selection 8 horse, never ending story. Tour Philly by Dabawi. Kumar owns. Aiden O'Brien trains. Ryan Moore gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came at the Kerr on the 11th of September. Seven furlongs in the group one more glare stud stakes. And he finished fourth by eight and three quarter lengths that day. And he never quickened up and never weakened out of it either. I think with a stronger pace, the horse would have made something going. I do like the one mile trip. We'll probably see a mile, uh, we'll probably see a stronger pace here today. And I think she could really improve off that run. Like I said, I, I think she needed pace last time out. Two backs ran the 20th of August at Deauville. Seven furlongs in the group two pre to Calvados. And he finished third by two and a half lengths. The winner went who's running back this one today but has a very bad post draw really put on a show and you know just just went quite easily this horse just had uh, just kind of uh, never quickened up there but she still ran her hard out there and then late july july at uh, leopardstown seven furlongs in the group three silver flash stakes went by a half length was much the best there and broke the main before that much the best at the uh the cur over the seven going to a mile trip gets a good inside post draw, has some fairly pace if she wants to use it or can come from a starting position and nine to two let's use her to recap my selections now for the second from Longchamp, it's the Group 1 Pre-Marcel Boussac. Let's take the 8-horse never-ending story. 8-2 in your forecast exacta. Um, so let's get to the fourth race. Hopefully I don't lose my voice. Um, pardon me today. It's, my voice uh, has been going off and on. Hopefully I don't get sick. Hopefully no COVID. I had that once already earlier this year. It wasn't fun. Well, well, it was you know, it, for me it wasn't. Oh, it was okay. I only lost my taste and spell, but for other people around me, it wasn't great. Great, um, but the fourth race from Patty Longchamp. It's the featured on the program. It's the Group One Prix de la Arc de Triomphe. It's a Group One event going for a purse of five point six million dollars. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field of twenty horses going twenty four hundred meters or a mile and a half on the turf course. I love the Sen horse Onesto as a top selection. I'm gonna go. 
17, 20, 15. That's my top three, basically. Use them on all in exact forecast combinations, exact boxes, like we call them here stateside. But the 17 horse Winesto is my top selection. The Real Colt by Frankel. Uh, Fabri Chabot trains. Stefan Pasquier is on this one. 10 to 1. The horse's most recent outing, uh, first month, uh, first start in two months, came at Leopardstown, 10th of September. A uh, mile and a quarter in the group one Irish champions. And he finished second by three quarters in length. Luxembourg was very game to get the victory that day. This horse kind of stalked, but just never could catch him. I do think he needed the race there. Second off the bench, back on the home turf. I think with a mile and a half, he's really going to run a good race. Two back air, a long shot, 14th of July on Bastille Day. A mile and a half in the Grand Prix to Paddy. Winning by a neck, he was all out, and he got redemption for that uh, French Derby uh, defeat. He put on a show. Even with a small margin of victory, he held his own out. A very good race there. And then before then, the Prix du Jockey Club over the mile 5, 16th at Chantilly on the 5th of June. He had a very wide poster, which cost him, breaking 14 and 15. He never really got over. He finished 5th by 8 and a half lengths. It, it just wasn't his day to win. And then I saw Clou on the 8th of May, a mile a quarter in the Group 2, Prix Gafoul, winning by 2 and a half lengths, upsetting at 13 to 1. He won quite, quite nicely. You know, his early form here um, at Longchamp in the Prix de Fontainebleau uh, for a seasonal reappearance was a crap race, but ever since then, he's been running these great, great numbers, outperforming himself. Um, he's going to have to come overcome a little bit of a wide poster, but I think he has some further pace here. At 10 to 1, we're going to use him. The 20 horse here, Luxembourg for Coolmore, uh, you know, Ryan and Ryan Moore. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets to the winner circle. I love his eight hole post draw. He won the Irish Champions very nicely. Before that, won the Royal Whip nicely off the long refreshing. Um, his only subpar race of the season was the uh, Irish, two, uh, was the English 2000 Guineas, where he just never really got going as the uh, 9 2 Luke. Uh, um, choice, second choice there. Uh, but he, I think he wants to go the mile and a half. He's going to get it for the first time. He has some serious races under his belt. Watch out for this horse here today. I, I mean it. And I also think the um, the, the 15 horse Vendeni is your um, uh, your third likeliest winner for the Aga Khan. Jean-Claude Roger uh, and Christophe Simeon. Now, it was, uh, it was very disappointing what Christophe Simeon did uh, on Friday. And if he wins this race, it's going to be a bit of a black cloud over um, his victory today with this one, but um, you know, in the Irish Champions, he, he ran his heart out there um, off the very long freshening. His first race since the Coral Clips, where he won by a neck. I won before that in the Prix de Jockey Club. Going to the mile and a half shouldn't be a problem. He has a very good inside post. Draw. At 7 to 1, it wouldn't surprise me, but it would be kind of awkward in the winner circle if, if Christophe wins it. But uh, I'll definitely use him on the ticket. But to recap my selection for the fourth from Paddy Longchamp, it's the Group 1 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. As a top selection, we'll take the 17 horse here, Winesto. Give kudos to the 20 horse, Luxembourg, and the 15 horse, Vendor. Denny, 17, 20, 15. We'll use all three of them in the uh, multi-race and uh, place pots. So let's get to the featured fifth race now from Longchamp, which is the Group 1 Prix de l'Opera. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse $567,000, race for four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 16 horses going 2,000 meters or a mile and a quarter on the turf course. I'm going to take here the number nine horse, Le Parisien. Uh, Le Parisien. Excuse me, I can't speak. I can't speak French either. I took it for two years in um, college and still can't speak a word of it. Uh, nine one in your forecast, exacta. Nine one forecast, exacta. Top selection nine horse, Le Parisian. Three year old filled by Zarak. Jean Massey gets the mount. Three to one here. His horse's most recent nine came the 11th of September at Longchamp. A mile and a quarter, a mile and a half in the Group 1 Prix Verme. Finishing third by head. It was an all out finish. He just couldn't get there late. Maybe just uh, not 100% crank, but she ran her heart out. Cutting back and trip to a mile quarter here today. I think she could find the winner's enclosure. Two back in the group one, Prita Diane at Ashanti, a mile and a quarter on the 19th of June. He finished second by a head. Uh, Nashoa really won quite nicely for Gaz and, and Holly Doyle. Two source stayed. She quickened up nicely. Outran her odds. Not a bad race for her there. And then uh, Long Chomp on the 15th of May, a mile three eights and a listed stake. She finished second by one and a half lengths. The winner outgamed this horse, but she still ran her heart out there. And then she won on debut at Deauville as a two year old. Came back in her seasonal reappearance as a three year old Saint Clou to win over the mile and a quarter. She's going to have to overcome a wide poster, but I think she has some serious class with her. I'm going to use her here. The one horse, Abeira, uh, I think is your second likely winner. Five Romare by Distorted Humor. 15 to 1. For, uh, Francis Gaffard trains Christoph Simeon gets on this one for the uh, Aga Khan. Uh, most recently, the Prix Jean Romanette. The horse finished third by one and a quarter lengths there. And she just never really was comfortable with the blinkers. They're going to take it off again today. Um, I think with a, you know, 
coming here with no blinkers could be forwardly paced from a good post draw. It wouldn't surprise me if he steals it here. She likes the soft going. She hasn't won since uh, winning in a list race of Chunti in, Ju- uh, in July, but she's been facing some uh, tough horses since then in the uh, in the race in Munich in the race last time out at Deauville. Coming here, I'm going to use her in the ticket at 15-1. I think she's a serious hit in class, um, especially from that seat of past seasons. Uh, but to recap my selection for the fifth, uh, the Prix de l'Opera from Longchamp, uh, I'm going to take here the nine horse Le Parisian, give kudos to the one horse Ebera, uh, nine one four Cass Exacta. Let's go nine one in your place, pot. The sixth race now from Longchamp. It's the Group One Prix de Alibi de Longchamp. It's a Group One event going for a purse of three hundred ninety seven thousand dollars. Races for two year olds and upwards. We have a field of 19 horses dashing 1,000 meters or five furlongs on the turf course. Now, don't uh, sneeze because you'll miss this race. Uh, my top selection, I'm going to go take the seven horse, 17 horse Flotus, 17 4 in your forecast exacta for me. 17 4 forecast exacta, top selection to 17 horse Flotus, the rear filly by St- Star Spangled Banner, Simon and Ed Crisper trains, William Buick gets the mount. The horse's most recent item came to occur on the 11th of September. Five furlongs in the group one flying five stakes, and the horse finished third by two and a quarter lengths that day. The two in front of him really put on a show, but this horse he settled, he quickened up a lot. He got redemption for the race before, but he still needs something coming here. You know, has some furly pace here, like the mid post draw. I think he could get over this tough five here at Longchamp today. Two back in the group one, none throw up at New York. Five furlongs, 19th of August, and he finished 10th by eight and a quarter lengths that day. And just kind of hit the wall under the drive, not really excelling. It wasn't the day to win. Uh, you know, two months prior in the Group 3, Summer Stakes over the 6 at York. He won by one and a half lengths. And even from a wide poster, he took off clear. A very good race. And now ran his odds in the Commonwealth Cup at uh, Ascot over the 6, um, finishing third by two and three quarter lengths. Again, the two in front of him were much better than him. But he still put on a show. I think with every single race other than that Nunthrope, he's been none the improve. Coming here at 15-1, to one, I'm going to use him. I think you also have to use the number 14 horse. Uh, excuse me, the number four horse, the four horse, the case of you, um, uh, gets wailing up at the saddle. Um, you know, best to be remembered by winning the Alqua Sprint earlier this season. Came back to run in the Greenlands at the Curra in May, where he finished third uh, in either race there, and then had a disappointing race in the in the Platinum Jubilee and the Flying Five. Um, I think coming here today, we'll see a better pace to close with on the uh, outside rail. W- wouldn't surprise me if he gets a good, clear, easy trip from out there. At 10-1, we'll use him in that place pod. Uh, but to recap my selection for this very exciting group th- uh, one, pretty loud by the Longchamp, the sixth race from Longchamp, let's take the 17-horse Flotus, give kudos to the four-horse, a case of you. Um, 17-4, forecast exacta, using both in the place pot. The seventh race now from Patty Longchamp. It's the Group 1 Prix de la Forêt. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse of $397,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. Ten horses are going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the turf course. I'm going to take the one-horse Ken Ross as a top selection. 110 for me in your forecast exacta. 110 forecast exacta. Top selection of one horse, Ken Gross. Five year old mel- uh, gelding by Kingman. Ralph Beckett trains. Ryan, uh, it's Ryan Moore. Um, Frankie DeTore gets them out. The horse's most recent appearance came in the group two. Uh, Kazoo Park stakes at um, Doncaster. Seven frongs, 11th of September. Winning by a length at 83 cents a dollar. He basically stalked. He quickened up nicely. He beat a group, good, a, a good group of horses home, an all-around good race there. Uh, before that, in the city of York, over the seven at York on twentieth of August, he won by one quarter lengths that day. And again, even with a high weight, he was excelling and quickening up nicely. A very good race. And then the Lennox at Goodwood over the seven, finishing second by a neck. The winner Sardine had the jump on him, but this horse was just closing a little bit too late there. You know, he doesn't, he didn't want to go the sixth in the Platinum Jubilee, Jubilee. And I do think he ne- renewed the race before that Haydock. But ever since that race at Ascot, he's really been on the improve coming here today i think his speed could overcome the y postra i'm going to use him on the ticket I think you also have to use the number 10 horse here, Tenebrism. Uh, Ryan Moore's on this one for Aiden O'Brien. Uh, most recently in the group one matron at Leopardstown over the mile. The horse uh, finished third by four lengths there, and the two in front of him just had the turn of foot. Um, if she could run a race like the pre Jim Pratt where she beat the boys in July, or even like the pre Rothschild where she lost uh, finishing second there, um, she runs those races. She could definitely win against these horses. 7 2 with a get inside post draw. We'll use her on the ticket. But to recount my selection for the seven from Longchamp, it's group one, pre La Four. 
for a let's take the one horse Ken Ross. Give kudos to the ten horse Tenebrism. One ten forecast exacta. Use them both in that place pod. So good luck to them. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.